Hey everyone, this is Christina Suntornbot, and I am the author of A Wish in the Dark. And in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the two main characters in the book, Fong and Nook. And Fong is the person who I really thought this story was going to be completely about when I first started writing it. So he is pretty, the main character. Um, he is a boy who thinks that he wants one thing. He's really searching for one thing for a lot of the book, and that is his freedom um, and to escape. So he was born in a place that's pretty much like a prison, and he longs to get out of there, and he does manage to escape. And from most of the book, he is running away or he's hiding. He's um, just trying to, uh, you know, escape not wanting to go back to prison. He's afraid that if someone catches him, he'll have to go back to that life, which he absolutely hated. So that's kind of like his primal goal, but really he has a, a much deeper need, a, a deeper goal, which is that he wants to change the world. He wants to um, make the world a better place. Um, and he has these incredible gifts and these amazing abilities that would let him do that. But because of where he was born and because of the way that his society is set up, he's gotten this message that he's not wor worth anything, that he doesn't have anything to offer, which is, of course, not true at all. Um, so throughout the course of the story, he's going to meet people who are going to help him and, and hopefully get him to a place where he is able to realize his potential, which is so huge. He just He has so much inside of him. And I don't want to give it away, so I won't tell you exactly what it is. Um, so when I first started writing the book, I thought it would be all told from Fong's perspective. And I, I, I wrote it all from his point of view. Um, and then the other character in the book is Nook. So she is the girl who is the daughter of the prison warden. Um, and throughout the book, you know, this book is primarily a chase between these two characters between these two kids and um, I quickly realized that I needed to tell the story from her point of view too. I think Nook, when you first meet her it's easy to dislike her and to see her as the villain because she's really she's trying to turn Fong back in. She wants him to go back to jail um, and he's our hero um, but from her from her point of view Nook is a girl who follows the rules and she has been told you know the law is there for a reason and Bong broke the law and if everyone broke the law then um you know there would be chaos that that's what she believes um so she's operating from a place of of reason but there's also another another reason why she wants to catch Bong and it's quite sad um she like him believes that she's not worthy. She doesn't um, She doesn't feel like her family loves her for who she is. She thinks she has to prove to them that she deserves to be in the family, um, which is so sad. You know, no one should have to prove to their family that they're worthy. Um, and so she thinks if she catches Bong that they will be proud of her and they will love her. So this is this this real need for her um, to do that because really what she wants is to be loved and to to believe that she has worth um, and so so I, I I realized that I the chapters needed to go back and forth because I worried that if you didn't see the world through her eyes that you wouldn't sympathize with her and she is worthy of a lot of sympathy and I, I think out of all of the characters in the book she does the most changing um, I don't want to spoil things, but I will tell you that these two only meet up face to face and, and have like a physical interaction three times in the story. So it's interesting because the whole story, we're going back and forth, you know, we're, we're, we're hearing about it from each of them and there's a lot of scenes where they just miss each other. They're occupying the same space, but at different times. And of course they're constantly thinking about each other. They are, you know, they're maybe hating each other or afraid of each other or wondering about each other. Um, but they really only come together three times. And as an author writing those three scenes was like electric. I just, I really felt like when they get together in the same physical space, that has to be a scene that is really uh, 
full of energy, full of conflict and emotion. And, and so those were some of the most uh, fun and challenging scenes to write. So those are Fong and Nook and they're uh, main characters in A Wish in the Dark.